Hello everyone. In this video, what we're going to do, we're going to focus on solving simultaneous equation by using a matrix method, right? So here I have an example of a simultaneous equation, which is 5a minus 3b equal 11 and 4a plus 9b equal 5, right? Now in order to solve this simultaneous simultaneous equation by using a matrix method the first thing we would need to do is to rewrite this simultaneous equation in matrix form and when we rewrite it in matrix form it must be rewritten in the form ax equal b right where a b and x are matrices and then from there we just solve using a matrix method so let's rewrite this simultaneous equation in matrix form. What you're going to do, you're going to take the coefficient of each unknown to create a matrix. So here, the coefficient of A in the first equation is 5. The coefficient of B is minus 3. In the second equation, the coefficient of A is 4. And the coefficient of B is 9. So we're going to take these numbers to create a 2 by 2 matrix. So I'm going to write 5 here, then um, it's going to be minus 3, then it's going to be 4 directly underneath the 5, and then it's going to be positive 9 directly underneath the 3. Now this will create a matrix, a 2 by 2 matrix, and this matrix would be A, right? This is matrix A. Let's put A above. Now, we are going to multiply matrix A by X, right? So X would be the unknown, A and B. We're going to write it in column form. So we're going to create a column matrix. And we're going to have A. And we're going to have B. And this matrix would be matrix X. So that's how we get AX here. Then this must be equal to the matrix B. So this is going to be equal to matrix B. And that's what's going to be the results here, which is 11 and 5. So this is another column matrix. And this matrix here. And this matrix here would be a representation of B, right? So now we rewrite this simultaneous equation in matrix form, all right? So let me just put this right beside it. So now this simultaneous equation is in matrix form. Now, in order to proceed from here, what we need to do is to multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse, right? So our next step is to multiply both sides of the equation here by the inverse. Now, what, what inverse? We need the inverse of A. Now, to find the inverse, of a what we would need is that a inverse is equal to one over the determinant of a right times the adjoint of a So that's how we we find the inverse of a. So we need the inverse of a. First, we're going to find the determinant. So how do we find the determinant? A determinant. Uh, the determinant of a is going to be the product of the main diagonal. And the main diagonal here is 5 and 9. So it's going to be the product of 5 and 9. So let me just write all that. It's going to be 5 times 9. And we must put that in a bracket. And we're going to subtract the product of the 
non-leading diagonal, which is 4 and negative 3. So it's going to be 4 times negative 3. All we need to do now is to simplify. So 5 times 9, that's going to give us 45, right? And then 3 times negative, 4 times negative 3, that's going to give us negative 12. And negative 12 times this negative sign here is going to give us plus 12. Right? So 45 plus 12, that's going to equal to 57. So we know that the determinant of a is now is now 57 right now to get the adjoint of a what we need to do is to switch the term in the leading diagonal so the first term here the leading diagonal is 5 and 9 right so we're going to switch positions so it's going to be 9 and then 5 and what we need to do is to switch the term, the sign of the non-leading diagonal. So here we have negative 3, that's going to become positive 3. And here we have positive 4, that's going to become negative 4. Alright, so now we can just simply go ahead and write the inverse of a so the inverse of a therefore therefore the inverse of a is equal to one over the determinant the determinant is 57 so it's going to be one over 57 times the adjoint of the matrix and the adjoint is this matrix here which is 9 3 negative 4 and 5 So now we have the inverse. So we must multiply both sides of the matrix by the inverse. Now, one key thing that you need to recall is that the inverse of a matrix times the matrix itself will always result in an identity matrix. So let me just write that. So therefore, I'm saying that A inverse times a is equal to i and i here is is a identity matrix right so you must always bear this in mind so if i multiply both sides by a inverse i'm basically going to multiply on this side i'm going to multiply a times a inverse but that's going to result in i and i here is just i is going to equal to the identity matrix and the identity matrix is going to be one zero zero one all right so you must always remember that so that means if i multiply this side by the inverse of a then all I'm going to get is 1, 0, 0, 1. So all of this is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. Right? Times A, B, A, B here. All of this is going to equal to 
the inverse, I'm going to show it now, the inverse, which is 1 over 57, multiply the matrix B here which is going to be 11 5 All right so that's it now note that what I did here was to, I didn't write oh, the inverse times A I just recall that the inverse of a times a is equal to i. So when if I wrote it out like this and I did the calculation, all I will get is just 1, 0, 0, 1. So if you can recall that, you can just go ahead and just write that. Now, if I multiply out this matrix, which is the identity matrix times a, b, all I'm going to left back with is just A, B on this side. So what I'm going to have here is just A, B, right? And if I have A, B here, all I need to do is to just multiply out this side here. So if I multiply out this side, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep my one, over 57 and I'm simply going to multiply out these two matrix so how do you multiply a matrix it is row times column all right so since it is row times column it's going to be 9 times 11 that's going to give me 99 plus 3 times 5 that's going to give me 15 that's going to be my first term All right then what i'm going to do is going to be row 2 times column 1 so it's going to be minus 4 times 11 that's going to give me negative 44 plus 5 times 5 that's going to give me 25 so here what I'm going to left back with on this side is a b Which is equal to 1 over 57 times 99 plus 115 that's good going to be 114 and negative 44 plus 25 that's going to give us negative 19 then you just have one step to go to find a and b what you're going to do you're going to have a b here and you're simply going to take this one over 57 to multiply each term so 1 over 57 times 114 that's going to give us 2 and 1 over 57 times negative 19 that's going to give us negative 1 third
So therefore, therefore, your final solution is going to be a equal to and b equal negative one over three. And that's how you solve a simultaneous equation by using the inverse method. Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.